Hello, and welcome to the JDE Tools Release Net Change presentation. My name is Todd Loisel, and I will be walking you through the differences between the old tools release and the new tools release. If you look on the screen before you, you will see the new uh, tools release is on my left, and this is what JD Edwards will be going to. And to my right here is the old tools release, and this is where you're accustomed to being in. One of the main differences that you'll see when we first get into the application is some of the um, cosmetic changes that we're due. So for example, over here in the new tools release, we have a blue and white background, whereas in the old one, we had a red, white, and blue background. Now one of the other differences that you'll see is within the grids here, we used to have a dark blue, now we have a lighter blue. This really doesn't have any type of um, functionality to it doesn't change anything as far as being able to go from one screen to the other. Uh, Oracle just changed their look and feel a little bit, so that's why it'll look a little different to you. There are some major differences, though, that I wanted to go over, so we'll just go through those now. The first one is uh, the right-click feature. Uh, in the new tools release, if you click on a row and then right-click, you'll see that row and, if I was on another form, uh, form exits, will show up here automatically and you can choose one of these so for example I will go into the who's who whereas in the past what you had to do is you had to click on a particular row you had to go up here to row and then select who's who if you're still accustomed to doing that same action you can go over here in the new tools release and do those same things as far as you can click the row and go up to uh, or click the line go to row and then take the row exit from there one of the other major differences that they did is as far as customizing your grid. Uh, typically in the past, if you wanted to change some things within the grid, if you wanted to make columns longer or shorter or move certain fields around, you had to go to the customize grid feature and uh, it would bring you up to a screen where you could create you know, a subset of whatever you needed. The new uh, tools release is a little more dynamic and that it works similar to Excel in that it lets you do it on the fly. So for example, if I wanted to take this alpha name and I wanted to shorten it up, I could do that. If I wanted to lengthen it, I could do that. If I wanted to take a column and I wanted to move it someplace else, I could click it and drag it over to where I wanted it, drop it, and you'll see that it'll move it. Whenever you make any of these types of changes, you'll also notice a new uh, save feature, which is available right here click on that save and you will be good to go. And you can customize again as many grids as you like and you can proceed in that fashion. The third difference is the fact that you can copy and paste now directly into a grid. So in the old release what you had to do is you had to use the import feature that was over here. So you'd have to say import, you'd select whatever Excel document you were looking at, tell the beginning and ending cells, apply it, continue, and then it would bring it in. Whereas in the new feature, what you can do is you can go directly into Excel, you can hit the control copy key, which is the con or control copy feature, which is a hotkey feature on your keyboard. Uh, it is the CTRL key and the C key at the same time. When you do that, you'll notice that the action is focused in within Excel. And then if we go back into the new tools release and we hit the control V key at the same time, that's the control CTRL and the V, and you'll see that it'll paste it right back in. One thing that you have to be a little cognizant of though is the fact that when you paste, when you do a copy, and if you try to right click in here, and go to paste, it'll try to paste it all in one cell. So you have to remember to use your hotkeys. So in this case, we'll do control V and it'll paste that directly in there. One of the other things that you'll have to be aware of, again, with the copy and paste feature is in the past, if you wanted to ca copy something, um, you could simply highlight whatever area you wanted to, right click and go to copy and then you could paste it wherever in a QBE line, within Excel, wherever you wanted by just hitting 
you know, control V or control P. V. Now, within the new tools release, it's a little different. You can see over here to my right that I've got to highlight all the text. On my left here, now it just highlights the particular boxes. Um, and if I try to right click, you'll see that it tries to go to the row and form features. So, in order to uh, still do your copying and pasting, what you'll have to do is, again, you'll have to turn to the hotkeys. You'll have to use the control, CTRL, and the C field at the same time. That will copy it. And then you can choose the control V to paste it wherever. And I will go here into Excel and show you how that's pasted. The last difference is there is new functionality added to the row features. You can see the difference here where I've got favorites that's available now for my row exits and over here in the old release I didn't have that. What this is used for is if you are you have row exits or form exits that you use more than any other and you want to move them to the top what you can simply do is select that uh, particular row move it up again to your favorites and drop it. And You'll see the next time that you go in there if you do it properly is that it'll show up directly now in your favorites and when you right click down here it'll also show up in your favorites so this will help you to manage your row and form exits and to help streamline some of those activities this concludes the changes between the new tools release and the old tools release if you have any questions please feel free to call me again this is Todd Loisel and thank you for listening to this presentation have a great and wonderful day.